All right, so I don't think I've ever unboxed a graphics card, certainly not a new one, and certainly not that I've bought in the past two or three years. But this one, the AMD Radeon RX 6500 XT, I actually got for around MSRP. It just came out very recently, and it's brand new. It's still got the tape, have not opened the box yet, and, and we're gonna be unboxing and checking it out. So it should be a good time. Looking around the box here, we do see that it's good for 1080p full HD gaming. It's 2022, a lot of us probably have systems that are capable of 1440p, but once again with these prices, many of us are probably looking at cheaper options. So we got 1080p, we get four gigs of video memory, uh, GDDR6, um, PCIe 4.0 support. This is a Setfire Pulse card and it says it's overclocked or it's overclockable, not too sure there. But yeah, it's rocking the AMD RDNA 2 architecture. Whatever that means to the average user, those words won't mean much. Minimum system requirements, you can pause that and take a look if you like. But most of our systems are probably gonna be able to run this. So let's get this bad boy open. All right, and here we go. So I have a little blade here, not sharp enough to cut me, but enough to cut the tape on the box. Let's see what we get inside, another box. get some manuals. I don't think these GPUs come with any stickers. I'm not aware of any AMD graphics cards that come with any stickers or even Nvidia for that matter. I haven't seen any stickers. Um, but I think that's all we get in here. Uh, the GPU, a couple manuals. There's nothing else down there so we can set the box aside. Very easy to access. It's not going to feel like you're going to rip the box open or anything. You don't have to destroy it. But here we have the graphics card. It is a decent size. I mean, for the power, they could have probably made it a little smaller. I don't think they need two fans to cool the whole thing, but it does look very good. I like the little red accents here with the gray uh, background. We don't have any protective or plastic cover over the pins here, but I guess it's fine. As long as you don't touch it, don't mess with it. So I think most of the Pulse lineup, um, throughout the years they've had this, I guess, Pulse line. I don't know what you call that, but it's a set fire pulse. It's got some red accents here, some white text. Once again, a matte black finish, which looks very nice. Feels metallic, does not feel cheap by any means. Um, this is plastic here, but once again, it feels quite nice. Really good looking. It also has a nice feel, a nice weight to it. You're not going to be carrying this thing, but it feels good. It's going to look good inside the system as well. So, so at the time of filming, um, this card costs around $270. I've seen it on Newegg. I've seen it on Best Buy, although it has been out of stock already. I mean, it just came out, but it's already out of stock in some places. Some people keep buying them and trying to sell them for more. Um, I actually bought it from somebody on offer for 300, but I live in California. So if you buy it online or anywhere, um, and include tax, it's gonna be around $300 anyway. So it's like if I bought it at MSRP and it was new, so. Uh, but anyway, we have an HDMI port right here. It's got the plastic cover, HDMI, and we have display port as well. So this is good for two monitors and you should be able to plug into a 4K display and display it in 4K with no problem. But I think it said 1080p on the box because the gaming quality is probably not going to be at 4K. We do have a six pin connector right there. Actually, it's going to be plugged in like this. So there's the connector. And once again, we got Setfire and Radeon matte finish. And uh, it looks like a brushed Looks like brushed aluminum, but it is plastic, but it looks very nice. It it does feel like a quality product, that is for sure. But yeah, this is a computer we're going to be using for the graphics card. As you can see, there is no graphics card installed. Um, just has that M.2 SSD right there. So we got a Ryzen 5 5600G processor. It does have integrated graphics, so it really doesn't need a graphics card but your performance is not gonna be top notch, I guess. Um, it still won't be with this graphics card, but it'll be a little bit better. We got 16 gigs of RAM from Corsair and the motherboard model, I don't remember, B550M DS3HAC, it's from Gigabyte. But yeah, I mean, there's not that much that goes into this build. It's actually very simple to build. Uh, we have a Red Dragon power supply, should be fun. All right, so now that we have the graphics card installed, I just plugged it in. I had to change the resolution and the settings, but everything's fine. Um, but now I'm just downloading the Radeon software. 
so I can install the latest drivers. I just Googled uh, the graphics card, AMD Radeon RX 6500 XT driver, and then that'll take you to the link. Um, and there we go, Radeon software. So I'm downloading it now. It actually already finished downloading, so let's go ahead and run that. Said yes, sorry for the poor uh, video quality. I don't have the driver installed, so I'm not recording uh, the screen at the moment. After about 30 seconds or so, um, it'll do everything on its own. This shows up and we're just gonna go ahead and hit install. The process is basically the same for every graphics card. It's just the, it's just the name of the graphics card and the name of the driver. But the process, the, the general idea is basically the same. Screen might flash, that's fine. We're just installing drivers and this thing appeared in a different location. Actually my wallpaper changed too. I had a live one and this one is just a a still image. Anyway, we're gonna restart the computer and that should be done. So right now this is Ghost Recon Wildlands. Most of the settings are at very high. It's actually very high right here, but because I switched a few, um, it turned to custom. Uh, but anyway, very high. I only turned down a couple, which uh, turf effects, motion blur, those take up quite a bit of power. Bloom, god rays, subsurface scattering, some unnecessary ones that won't make much of a difference, long range shadows. Maybe subsurface scattering will be noticeable, but uh, little details like that tend to bring down the frames. But yeah, we're gonna run the built-in benchmark and see how that goes. All right, we are hanging out in the high 60s. Wow, low 70s, mid 70s, wow, that's pretty surprising. I tried running this game, well, I actually played throughout the whole game with my 1070 and my i7 7700K. And on very high settings, most of the time, I was at around 70 FPS as well, at full HD. And I'm getting very similar results with the 6500 XT, although the 1070 is supposed to be a lot better. So there's a quick summary right there, 68 and a half FPS, the average, uh, the max was 80 and the low was 55, which is very good for this graphics card on this game. This game came out back in 2017, 2016, I want to say, so it's not that old, fairly new. All right, so Grand Theft Auto V should be very interesting. It's not the newest game, but it's definitely one of the most played still, even now. So we're going to go with 144 hertz at 1080p. FXAA, MSAA, VSync, I'm going to turn that off. All right, so far we're looking good. Go ahead and accept those settings. So population and distance, we'll leave it at full quality. Very high on most of the settings, probably all of them. Grass quality, I'll leave it at normal. I don't want to increase it anymore because grass quality actually kills FPS quite a bit. Motion blur, we're gonna turn that off completely. And this tropic filtering, whatever that means. I'm gonna turn it down to times four. Ambient occlusion, we'll put it at normal. And yeah, we'll go ahead and test that out. So. I haven't played through the game on this account for whatever reason, but it should be fun. But already, I mean, in that little uh, part alone when I was running to the car, and even now we're getting over 140 FPS. Let's see how it does while driving. Wow, this is really smooth. 120 FPS, that's, that's really good. Hum, so now... You know, this is 1080p once again, but I'm wondering if we can run this game at 1440p at decent settings. This is going to be very surprising because on the box it says 1080. You know, it doesn't advertise anywhere. Uh, I'm bad at driving. Um, it doesn't say anywhere that you can run over 1080p or it doesn't recommend it. And obviously that's going to be the case on the later games, but on, on a game like GTA 5, that should be doable, I think. It should be nice and playable. We're at 115 right now, 122. All right, so I, I changed my settings. Um, so basically everything is the same. It's mostly on very high, but now I changed it to 2560 by 1440. Let's see if we get a major dip in frames. And we, so we, we basically cut our frames in half, but we are actually still at 96. It went the completely wrong way. 88. 83 I'm trying to look at the FPS and drive at the same time but this is pretty darn good 86 man I don't know I heard a lot of bad things about this graphics card that it wasn't worth the money uh, you know it's this and that this is an older game so let's keep that in mind but 
I mean, GTA can run 1440p no problem. Alright, and that concludes my video on the RX 6500 XT, the new graphics card, the newbie on the block. I didn't want to make this video 20 minutes long or whatever, it's still already going to be pretty long. So if you want to watch the full review, I'll be testing games like Call of Duty, Rise of the Tomb Raider, or other games like that. Fortnite is going to be on there. Uh, if you want to watch that, just make sure you like, comment down below what you think on this graphics card. So far, very good results with the games I tested. It's looking very promising. If you can get it near MSRP, which is 269 uh, in the US. And you just wanna play some games, have a good time, play some older ones, play some newer ones, and you don't really mind not running at ultra all the time on every single game, this might be for you. But we'll find out more in the full review. We're gonna go through some more benchmarks, like I said. So that should be fun. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see y'all in the next video. Screw you guys, I'm going home.